Well, good evening, friends. Welcome back to the Rainbow Ballroom. I'm Tom Dindy, pastor of Celebration Presbyterian Church, and I welcome you back as we gather again for <clears throat> Tuesday evening virtual Vespers. It's the 13th day of August. 2024 and I send a big birthday shout out to Aaron Dahlstrom, my son-in-law. Happy birthday, Aaron. He's turning the big 4-0 today. And I'll send a shout out to my sister-in-law, Myra Dendy. She turned the big 6-0 yesterday. Big birthdays. Well, our theme for tonight uh, comes from Matthew 5-4. Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. We're going to be looking at mourning and uh, lament. It's been a sad time at my house. Uh, had to bid farewell to my beloved Cassidy on Saturday, my dog. She suffered a massive seizure, and apparently it was recurrent cancer that had uh, spread in her body and claimed her life this past Saturday on August 10th. So that was kind of a devastating day for me. Hadn't expected that, but uh, life and death all rolled together. Also, it's uh, the been about Three years, it was uh, July 31st when dad passed, but it was August 14th, three years ago uh, in the 2021 when we had dad's memorial service. So uh, <clears throat> just got several sadnesses on my heart and you may too. And as I thought about tonight, I thought, well, we got to go to God's word where it says, blessed are they who mourn for they shall be comforted and seek some of that comfort for those who mourn and for anyone else who might be lamenting the loss of loved ones. <clears throat> Sorry. Start off with a song that says, How Can I Keep From Singing? Can I 
keep from singing your praise how can i ever say enough how amazing is your love and how can i keep from shouting your praise i know that i'm loved by the king and it may I can sing when the troubled times sing when I win. I can sing when I lose my step and I fall down again. I can sing, <clears throat> I can sing cause you pick me up. Sing cause you're there. I can sing. Cause you hear me, Lord, when I call to you in prayer. I can sing with my last breath. Sing, for I know that I'll sing with the angels and the saints around the throne. And how can I keep from singing? from shouting your name I know that I'm loved by the King and it makes my heart want to sing Yes, I'm loved by the King and it makes my heart Ah, yes, I'm loved by the King And it makes my heart You know that I'm loved by the King And it makes my heart want to sing I can sing Well, hello there, Jamie Meisenheimer, joining in from Maxton or the greater area, and Betty Bryson, hello, come in, good to see you. It's been a while. Thank you, Betty, for your kind words you've been sending. I sure do appreciate them. Well, let's get on with it, friends. <clears throat> I want to sing another song for us here as we... Prepare to pray. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Come and listen to me. The Lord is my song, the Lord is my praise, all my hope comes from God. The Lord is my song, the Lord is my praise, God the wellspring of life. Sing with me, O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Oh Lord, hear my prayer when I call, answer me. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Come and listen to me. Come and listen to me.
Well, pray with me. Let's thank God for the good things of this day that have blessed us. For news that was good or information that was promising, we thank you, God. For a word spoken to us today, which we want to keep in our minds, we thank you, God. For people who have come to our home or spoken to us on the phone or brought to our attention, we thank you, God. For those we want to be close to, despite the distance between us, we thank you, God. For a word from God which is important at this time, we thank you. For a word of comfort from the Lord at this time, we thank you, God. For health care, intervention, and care, we thank you. For those who shape our vision and share our purpose in life, we thank you, God. For friends who have ministered to us in our time of loss and grief, we thank you, God. And for Jesus Christ, who has summoned us and promised to be with us today and tomorrow and always, we thank you, God. In Jesus' name, <clears throat> amen. Well, I've found that in these times of lament that singing does my heart a world of good. Somehow it helps reconnect me with the joy that may feel like it's missing in my life. Uh, I can say Cassidy brought me a great deal of joy. She was such a devoted friend and sidekick that I'm sure going to miss her. But... Uh, this time a week ago, she was right here listening in on Vespers, and I'm guessing even tonight, she's listening in. Yes, 
you give and take away my heart will choose to say lord blessed be your name blessed be your name of the lord blessed be your name blessed be the name of the lord blessed be your glorious name blessed be the name of the lord blessed be your name blessed be the name of the lord blessed be your glorious name psalmist encourages us to try to praise the lord no matter what our circumstance and i'm not saying i'm good at it but i'm just trying to take god at god's word and hope it'll work. Well, scripture I want to share is from Isaiah 61, verses 1 to 7. Listen, hear the word of God. Isaiah says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me and has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display God's glory. And then from Matthew chapter five, verse four, in the Beatitudes, Jesus says, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. This is God's word for God's people. And we can say thanks be to God. <clears throat> this next song by Ben Paisley, Don Schaefer, and Robin Paisley is called You Are So Good to Me. You are so good to me. You heal my broken heart You are my Father in heaven You are so good to me You heal my broken heart You are my Father in heaven You are beautiful, my sweet, sweet song You are I want to 
Meditate on what it means to be comforted when you're mourning. In our times of lament and loss and grief and mourning, Isaiah says, God understands and God meets us in our mourning and offers us a garland of fresh cut flowers rather than a pile of ashes. God brings us oil of gladness Instead of mourning and sackcloth, God makes for us a mantle of praise instead of giving us a faint spirit. God considers us oaks of righteousness and we are a planting of God. In other words, we're a living display of God's glory. And we're clothed with garments of salvation and covered with robes of righteousness like a bridegroom or bride herself who wears celebratory garlands, like a bride adorned in jewels, like a master gardener. God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. And Jesus promises that all who grieve will be comforted. In other words, grief is part of the picture. It's not an avoidable thing, but we don't have to go through it alone. Jesus will be with us and will comfort us. And I say, how good of God. Thanks be to God who comforts us in our times of lament and mourning. Friends, we can worship God even in times of death and loss and grief. And the Bible gives us lament and gives us a whole book devoted to lamentations, meaning expressing our sadness. All the major Bible characters, if you read through the Bible, they poured out their hearts to God at one point or another in lament. And lament is a type of prayer that we rarely talk about it, yet at times it's a necessary part of each one of our prayer lives. When we experience what St. John of the Cross called that dark night of the soul, prayers of lament can truly be helpful as we pour out our hearts to God. The good, the bad, the ugly, the painful, we just pour it all out there, raw. You see, we live in a broken world where things just don't always go right or work out the way we want them to. There are times when we don't know what God is doing or which way to turn in our life to find that comfort. 
bringing a prayer of lament before God can help us because God actually hears our prayer and through that prayer changes us during these times when we pour out our hearts to God. Prayers of lament are a form of worship and an expression of our faith. It may feel like just a yucky outpouring of sadness, but God hears those prayers of lament and joins with us in them. Instead of pulling back from God during hard times of loss, when we feel we're stuck in that dark night of the soul, we can lean in to the pain and worship God in the midst of our pain. As an act of faith and love, we bring it all to God. We offer it all to God in worship and we lay it all before God on God's throne of grace. And the hard part is leaving it there and entrusting it fully to God's care. And knowing that it's safe with God. Lamentation is a powerful and meaningful form of personal worship because it places our love for God above even the worst circumstances in our life. Friends, God doesn't ask us to deny the existence of our suffering and grief. God wants us to see that it's part of our journey and to make these times of pain and darkness, offerings to God, telling God exactly like it is and trusting God to share in them fully and to help us as we're seeking to cope and to find comfort. Ed Cash and Scott Cash wrote this song and shared it with Chris Tomlin nobody loves me like you and it helps in times of uh, grief and sadness to remember that it may feel as if we've lost our love lost the love of our life but God is the love of our life and God loves us stronger than anyone
Oh, what a song to sing. Oh, what a song to sing. Oh, what a song to sing. Oh, what a song my heart keeps singing. And oh, what a song to sing. Oh, what a song to sing. you too okay hello lois bergman and carol mitchell glad you're in the house tonight we're talking about mourning and lamenting let's bow together and share a prayer of lament lord we know that you're faithful over all things even the hardest darkest times of our lives Help us not back away from you in our times of grief and loss, but help us instead to lean into you and to trust you more than ever, even when we don't understand your ways. Please keep our heads above water, even in the midst of anguish, and keep our feet from slipping off the ground of truth. Help us see you in these painful days of grief and to glorify you through it all. With your help and in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, one song we used to sing at camp that addressed crying and singing and laughing and praying was Kumbaya, my Lord. Kumbaya Kumbaya my Lord Kumbaya Kumbaya Oh, Lord, come by you. 
ones praying, Lord, Kumbaya. Thank you for coming out and sharing in Tuesday evening virtual Vespers tonight. Uh, there's no place I'd rather be than with friends and in God's word and singing songs that uh, lift my spirit and hopefully lift yours as well. Continue worshiping with us at Celebration Presbyterian Church. If you like Vespers, you'd like our worship. It's Sunday mornings at 11 a.m., We'd love to have you in person. We're at 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. If you can't join us in person, we also live stream on Facebook and on our YouTube channel. And you can pick us up anywhere you've got an internet connection. However it works best for you, be with us as we gather with God as a community of faith to worship. I want to thank everybody who supported our sock drive in July. We collected 630 pairs, which was 130 more than our goal of 500 pairs. So thank you for putting us over the top. If you'd like to support this ministry of celebration monetarily, you can do so very easily by going to our website, which is all lowercase, celebration, Presbyterian Church dot O-R-G celebration presbyterian church dot o-r-g you can click on the donate now link and make your secure online gift at our website and we thank you for your participation and for your support this next hymn is an oldie but a goodie my jesus i love thee by William Ralph Featherstone and music by Adoniram Judson Gordon. Adoniram Judson Gordon. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. For thee for 
too often of God's love for us and cultivating that love is part of our lifetime journey with God growing closer day by day now receive this benediction that I offer you from the Iona community off the coast of Scotland it says look at your hands see the touch and the tenderness these are God's own for the world Look at your feet. See the path and the direction. God's own for the world. Look at your heart. See the fire and the love. God's own for the world. And look at the cross. See God's Son and our Savior. God's own for the world. This is God's world. And we will serve God in it. May God bless you. May God keep you always and lead your lives with love, even in the times of mourning and lament. Watch for your weekly celebration email updates. We send those out twice a week on Tuesday and Thursday. The Tuesday email blast is activities upcoming in the life of our church, and the Thursday email blast is focused on worship. It gives you the order of service and the words of the hymns, everything you need to participate uh, remotely, wherever you might be. If you have a question or want to be added to our list, you can call the church office at 843-903-0308. That's 843-903-0308. Irma Stackhouse is our administrator and she'll be glad to take your email address and add you to our list. We promise not to spam you and load you up. Just two a week, Tuesday and Thursday. George Matheson and Albert Lister Peace went together to write the words and then the music to O oh Love That Wilt Not Let Me Go. O oh love that will not let me go I rest 
my weary soul in thee and give thee back the life I owe that in the ocean depths its flow may richer fuller be O light that followest all my ways I yield my flickering torch to thee my heart restores its borrowed ray that in sunshine's blaze its day may brighter fair be O oh, joy that seeks me through the pain I cannot close my heart to thee I trace the rainbow through the rain and feel the promise is not vain that morn shall tearless be O cross that liftest up my head I dare not ask to fly from thee I lay in dust life's I lay in dust life's glory dead and from the ground where blossoms red life that shall end is be God's love won't let us go that's good news, friends. On behalf of Celebration Presbyterian Church, again, we're located at 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard. We're adjacent to the Recreation Center and the Library Complex. We'd love to have you come be with us, friends. We want you to know this. God loves you. So do we. Come see us. You hear? We mean it. I want to say good night. God bless y'all real good and leave you with one final song that I'm uh, going to send out in dedication to my dad. We sang it at his memorial service and it was one he loved to harmonize on. I'll fly away. Well, some glad morning when this life is over, I'll To a home on God's celestial shore, I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away in the morning when I die. Hallelujah, by and by.
God bless you for coming out tonight and joining me in the Rainbow Ballroom for this edition of Tuesday Evening Virtual Vespers. I'm Tom Dindy, pastor of Celebration Presbyterian Church in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, wishing you the blessings of God until we meet again. Whether you're mournful or happy, folks, God is with you in the midst of it. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Take care.